Well, tonight we're getting a first look at a BPU report about a man who died when he touched a live wire at a KCK park. It's taken more than a month for this report to come out. Garrett Hake has been following this tragic story for us since it broke. New at 6, he has the results of the review. And Garrett, we're being told that this may not be enough to satisfy the victim's family. No, Jadion, it's really not. And take a look at this. You can still see the scorch marks here in this park from where that power line came down and stayed down for about 12 hours before killing that young man who was here to do a lot of the, the same thing these folks are here to do, to play disc golf. Cell phone video captured the moment a power line came down during a sudden summer storm last month. In a report BPU released to 41 Action News, the utility says it received three calls about the line that day out of more than 500 outage reports. Disc golfer Adam Abernathy called 911 when he saw the line. I told him that there's a live power line down at Rosedale Park and it's dangerous and it needs to be taken care of and they need to get out here to fix it. The utility said it responded to 30 down power lines that day, working around the clock until midnight Sunday to make repairs. But the report doesn't answer why power to the line at Rosedale wasn't shut off for nearly 12 hours, only after 27 year old Nicholas Mater stepped on it just after 3 a.m. and was electrocuted. BPU says its crews arrived on scene a half hour later at 3.29 a.m. So why was the downed line in a busy public park set to reopen the next morning not a higher priority? The report doesn't answer that question either and doesn't assign responsibility for the fact that the company, in its own words, quote, did not respond in a time frame that could have possibly prevented this tragedy. But obviously we're anxious to get some answers to some questions that the family has. Mater's parents have each taken steps to sue BPU for their son's death. Mater's mother's attorney spoke exclusively with 41 Action News and said he has received almost no information from the company and even after reviewing the report had far more questions than answers about steps he says could have been taken that night. One big question would be can you turn the power on or off from the station after you get the call or do you physically have to send somebody out there? Now we tried to ask BPU some of those follow-up questions today, but citing those ongoing lawsuits, they told us they couldn't provide any more information than what's in this two-page report. We'll keep digging. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.